Avery, for yourself, Apto seems to have made great strides in marrying scalability with a developer-friendly ecosystem. Specifically, you mentioned the implementation of the Move programming language as a way of building user-ready applications. Maybe talk to me a bit more about Move and some of the advantages it offers developers. Absolutely. So Move, Move is designed in mind to be super safe, but also the, as a part of that, as an important part of that, it really is how do you kind of get developers to deploy applications as quickly as possible to the blockchain? Safety is kind of a, a requirement, right? You can't write an application and, and deploy it uh, unless you've been audited, well tested, um, and uh, that can take a long time uh, in different technology stacks because the, you know, due to a lack of auditing support in general, but also there's just so many ways you could, you know, as a programmer, you can make mistakes. Uh, and I think we're really used to a world where programmers have, have been continually making mistakes, kind of rolling forward, and, and that's that's normal in, in most of the industry. But when it comes to smart contract programming, there's no room for and no tolerance for those kind of mistakes uh, that can cost people their assets and, and their funds. So in this case, Move is about starting off simple, um, you know, really going along the, the side, like the guidance of, of something like a Rust language where, you know, safety first. Uh, we push all the errors in Rust to the kind of compile time phase as opposed to runtime. Uh, and the same thing is that true with Move. There's just fewer things you can do to hurt yourself. So for example, if you have a way to represent a currency in, in, in other languages, you might represent it as an integer. And in Move, uh, you know, there's way ways to make mistakes with integers, right? You can accidentally forget about them in functions. You can uh, multiply them, divide them, raise them to exponents. There's a lot of things you can do, uh, which might cause, um, you know, unintended effects with respect to supply or the way that those integers are transferred between uh, users. With respect to something like Move, you can have something like a coin contract or a coin standard in which those coins are, are impossible to make those mistakes on. You can't leave them behind in, in function calls. You can't uh, accidentally, you know, multiply them without, uh, you know, getting those coins from somewhere else. Uh, there has to be a, a bunch of safeguards in terms of how the supplies change over time. And those just make it much safer and simpler to program with, uh, as opposed to kind of more generic programming languages um, that have been meant for, for many other kind of use cases in the past.